The Philippines is one of the fastest growing economies in the region, with its consistent 6 to 7 percent annual growth rate, it's one of the best performing economies globally. New central districts and urban developments are on the rise transforming the urban landscape of Metro Manila. To expand its business district and develop a new growth center within the region. In response to fast-growing cities and a rapidly modernizing economy. It's a new dawn for the Philippines. A truly global city. The city of the future. A sustainable city to live, work, learn, and play. A green inclusive city with open spaces. Putting the Philippines at par with Hong Kong, Singapore, and Sydney. With a world-class transportation network. And a CBD with fast connectivity to the airport and to the metro. Horizon Manila is a 419-hectare reclamation project, consisting of three islands that will include industrial and commercial projects, as well as public housing projects for the residents of the city of Manila. It has been described as one of the biggest reclamation projects in Manila Bay. The city built on scratch is mapped into three islands, arranged east to west with long faces along the north-south axis, with a four-kilometer long canal park, as the main connecting feature in between the isles. The canal park, not only connects the three islands but also provides Horizon with a public park at its core that stretches all the way to the water's edge, ensuring that Manila Bay Sunset, will always belong to the public. This urban valley recalls the settlement of Manila along the Pasig River and bolsters the idea of Manila as a city by the river. A viaduct with a monorail system allows direct access from Manila to the islands. From the central station, the trackless electric tram system loop around the development, and no place on the island will be more than a five-minute walk away from a tram station. Meanwhile, buildings are designed to minimize heat, while the vertical massing creates clustered towers that keep certain areas shaded all day. There will be a wide array of facilities and amenities, to allow a diverse mix of entertainment for its residents, such as pop-up galleries, and a state-of-the-art basketball arena. A Memorandum of Understanding was signed between the City of Manila and the Philippine Reclamation Authority on June 2, 2017. The master plan for the project was designed by WTA Architecture Plus Design Studio, a local Filipino architecture and design firm. The project was approved by the Philippine Reclamation Authority in 2019. The master plan calls for the creation of 28 distinct communities for 100,000 residents, which will be situated on three islands bisected by a four-kilometer long canal park. A total of 83 hectares will be allotted for open green space, which will occupy a fifth of the project's total area and each district is planned to have its own development guidelines. The most ambitious project of urban development outside Manila is the conversion of 9,450 hectares property in Clark, into new Clark City. Envisioned to become the newest economic hub of Asia, the proposed metropolis, located 100 kilometers north of Manila, with plans to cover 9,450 hectares, it will be bigger than Manhattan, and could accommodate as many as 1.2 million people. Out of 9,450 hectares of the city, only 3,500 hectares will be developed, leaving the rest for green and open spaces, making it a green city. The development is not a flood-prone area with its minimum elevation being at 54 meters above sea level, and its planned central park also serves as a flood catchment basin. Mountain ranges, surrounding the development with both geographical features, providing New Clark City a natural protection from typhoons. The city layout features lots of open spaces where small parks offer opportunities for recreation, socialization, or solitude. The city will be powered by renewable energy and will provide quality power at competitive prices. Finally, a high-speed fiber optic network will make New Clark City a truly connected metropolis that will provide internet connectivity comparable to Singapore and Japan.
making everything from automated maintenance to integrating the artificial intelligence throughout the city. The Passe Reclamation Development Project in Manila Bay is a new and modern commercial and residential property development to be run by SM Prime Holding Incorporated. The project involves the reclamation of approximately 726 hectares through the construction of three artificial islands according to international standards to ensure a safe living environment. The islands have been designed to withstand potential large earthquakes. In addition, shore protection works are designed to withstand typhoons. The project is truly a milestone. A unique model of collaborative development aiming towards greater competitiveness and providing greater opportunities for the people. For the reclamation activities, Boscalus will deploy a number of trailing suction hopper dredgers, over a period of two years including its mega hopper dredgers. The entire reclamation area will be compacted with vibro and dynamic compaction, to ensure soil stability. The outer perimeter of the islands, will be protected with a combination of rock revetment and a concrete wave wall. Preparatory work is scheduled to commence immediately, and work on-site is expected to start within the first quarter of 2020. The reclamation activities are expected to be completed within three years, and the total project duration including land development is five years. Clark Global City Clark Global City is a state-of-the-art, 177-hectare master plan, mixed-use business center of excellence in Clark, Pampanga. Developed for smart, safe and sustainable development. It visualizes to build a city that is not just good to visit, but also a good place to work and live. Where international companies and local top-tier companies, can move their offices. Surrounded with world-class transport-oriented hubs, branded with place-making. A walkable city, that provide optional mobility for pedestrians. A city, that will create a neighborhood concept, for mixed-use development, premium office spaces, high-class retail spaces, residential block that caters to people from all walks of life, and cultural development. As Clark, the leading gateway to the Philippines, and one of the fastest-growing investment-grade economies in Asia. It is a city built as living proof that business in this part of the world is not only easy but simply better with enhance ease of doing business lower taxes, 100% foreign owned equities and endless investment opportunities Solar City Manila is a mixed-use development to be built on 148 hectare reclaimed land in Manila Bay adjacent to the north of the cultural center of the Philippines complex, and west of the Manila Yacht Club. Equipped with the latest technology with renewable and sustainable energy, Manila Solar City stands as a benchmark of today's city's development and progress. As part of the Manila Cavite Coastal Project envisioned several decades ago, the city will be developed as disaster resilient, using the advanced concept of technology aiming to have an environmentally friendly city, by using renewable energy such as solar, wind, and biomass. All buildings will have their own solar panel to contribute the energy production. While maximizing the wind energy, all buildings will be designed to have an open ground floor to have breathable corridors and walkways. By these, the city layouts require less air cooling and conditioning. The city will also feature an effective intermodal system, that aims to minimize the use of private cars. The public transport was designed not to obstruct the traffic flow of the ground. A monorail system will also be developed. The reclaimed area will have three islands, East Island 1, the closest to the Manila Yacht Club, measuring 28.7 hectares. East Island 2, 36.8 hectares and West Island, the farthest, 82.4 hectares. It will be developed by the consortium of the Manila Gold Coast Development Corporation and the City of Manila, with the partnership with contractors of Hong Kong Airport and Palm City in the Middle East. 
The airport is also being groomed to become one of the country's first aerotropolis, or a community that features a world-class airport that's surrounded by business clusters and residential developments. The aerotropolis will be built surrounding the airport with an area of 800 hectares. Clark Freeport Zone is envisioned to be a modern sustainable aerotropolis. This modern city will encourage positive attitudes toward work and leisure, and will provide a conducive environment for businesses and investments to flourish. It is planned to become the highly awaited aerotropolis, or airport-driven city and smart city, in the country. As a potential alternative to Metro Manila, the proposed Clark Freeport Zone will become a city that is a combination of a business center, industrial estate, residential community and leisure destination. More than 1.5 million square meters of parks and open spaces. The lungs of the city are allotted for the seven districts, promoting a good balance between nature and the built environment. Envisioned to be Asia's next premier gateway, which will help foster economic growth. This is indeed a testament of the government's goal in making Clark as the next premier metropolis of Asia. And putting Philippines one step closer to progress and prosperity. Bridgetown is 30.6 hectare master plan. Real estate development straddles the dividing line between Quezon and Pasig City into two tracks by the Marikina River. It is currently anchored by four office towers in its information technology park dedicated to the business process outsourcing sector. The development will be a community consisting of seven office towers, a regional shopping mall, five-star hotel and residential condominiums, with a landmark bridge and a light art installation, called the Victor, as its centerpiece. The Victor is a 60-meter, 200-feet, tall steel statue, which will be erected at the foot of the Bridgetown Bridge. The colossal public art piece is expected to be one of the tallest lighting projection art installations in the world. The marine-grade perforated steel art piece is said to symbolize unity, hope, strength, and success of ordinary Filipinos. Bridgetown West is a Philippine Economic Zone Authority registered IT park that is planned to contain seven office towers catering to the business process outsourcing industry. All buildings are LEED registered with premium office space designed specifically to meet the stringent requirements of the outsourcing industry. Several office towers are already completed, and the others are under construction. A regional shopping mall will also be built to cater wide range of services, local and international multiple retail precincts, chic culinary restaurants, and exciting entertainment spots to top it off. Not to mention more of such fine experiences in surrounding mall's tenants, to satisfy your shopping desires and daily conveniences. Residential developments include Circus, a 40-story residential condominium, a high-rise under construction communities that will feature 1,500 studio units. The development is also the home of Valaris Residences, a 45-story multi-billion luxury condominium. It will provide a world-class amenity, elegantly appointed rooms, spacious walk-in closet, and huge floor-to-ceiling picturesque windows that provide a breathtaking view of the city skyline. Navotas Boulevard Business Park is an under-construction commercial and business center in Navotas. It will rise on 650 hectare reclaimed land and has been under construction since 2019. The development is envisioned to create a mixed-use community with residential, institutional, commercial, and industrial areas suitable for port facilities, marine, and tourism. Its master plan was designed by Servana Jurong. Navotas City, dubbed as the fishing capital of the Philippines is part of the informal sub-region of Metro Manila. Recognizing the need to diversify its economy, the city of Navotas decided to reclaim 576.7 hectares of land for urban and industrial development. Considering that Navotas is the only city with water access that can provide large-scale port and logistic developments, the project could have significant and positive industrial impacts on future developments in the region which could become a center and gateway for a future industrial district of the northern region. Understanding the site's economic potential on a national level, and development strategies with an emphasis on building competitive advantages including technology development, industrial clustering, sustainable designs, and city branding.
Pasay Harbor City Project is a 265-hectare reclaimed area between the Pasay Reclamation Development Project and Horizon Manila. The project is part of the Pasay Eco City Grand Vision to build a sustainable, eco-friendly, and world-class metropolis, consistent with its mission to promote the quality of life of its people. To date, the project has already reclaimed 117 hectares of submerged lands above water, a testament to the capabilities of PHCC and its EPC contractor Netherlands-based Royal Boscalus Westminster as one of the world's top dredging companies. The project is set to be completed with horizontal development in 2028 including roads, bridges, drainage, water, power, sewerage, communications, and other primary utilities and facilities. The proposed new Manila Bay City of Pearl, located at the heart of Manila is deemed cancelled. The 407 hectares of land is the biggest self-sustaining smart city in Asia, planned to host more than 500,000 citizens and create over 100,000 jobs. New Manila Bay is a key development project between China and the Philippines under the Belt and Road Initiative. It was expected to be completed in seven phases over 20 years, in which the initial three-year reclamation project will begin in August 2017, while the first phase of the construction project will be scheduled to be announced in early 2019. Its proposed location was currently under development by other reclamation projects.